Hey guys, I'm Bryson here, and what's the one thing that you need to learn about productivity to increase your productivity, okay? And by the way, activity does not mean productivity. I know people that spend hours being active, looking up how to work out, but they never actually work out, thus they're actually never productive, okay? However, guys, okay, I've watched a lot of videos on YouTube on how to become more productive, and usually they all land in the same place. Tommy, stop using your phone so often. Tommy, start journaling. Tommy, try to be more focused, okay? And this advice is great advice. However, I tried it, by the way, but right now, my screen time on my iPhone, guess how long it is? It's around 10 hours on average every single day. Yes, I said 10 hours on average. It's embarrassing. On top of that, when it comes to journaling, I do that. It's effective, yes, but I also found a better way to do it that's going to help you guys out a ton in this video. And on top of that, lastly, when it comes to staying focused, obviously, that's something you need to do, right? It's pretty obvious, but in reality, it's very difficult when your whole workspace is set up to be distracting. So in this video, I'll also give you tips on those things also. But overall, I started to read books about productive people that are basically millionaires and also billionaires. Because how is it possible that a billionaire can still have time to go on vacation, wake up late, and basically have more time than I do as, for example, just someone that's working constantly every single day. And by the way, as I read these books, I realized that basically I know someone in my real life that actually does this. And that's basically my uncle, right? My uncle, guys, okay? is by far the wealthiest person in our family to date. I will pass this by the way, okay? But the idea is to date, he is the most wealthy person in our family. And the idea is that this guy wakes up at 7 a.m. Whenever I call him, he has time to talk for like 30 minutes or an hour, all the time, I promise you. And on top of that, he works like at an office, but he's never really that busy. And I never understood exactly what the heck was going on. And by the way, the second most successful person in my family, well, he also has a good amount of money, but he's always busy, wakes up really early, and also works long, long hours. And I said, well, how is it possible that the person working the hardest is not making as much money as the person not working that much, okay? And that's when everything start to click with all the books I also read, okay? And that's what I'm gonna share with you guys in this video. And by the way, it all comes down just to one thing, one rule when it comes to productivity. And by the way, if you guys are new here, make sure to go ahead and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you're notified because basically, I do post videos every single day on this channel. And on top of that, also destroy the like button. That way, the algorithm picks it up and also helps a lot more people. So thank you guys again for subscribing and also liking these videos. It does help a lot, so thank you guys so much. Now, the very first thing is this, guys. Tell me, what is this one rule that is going to change everything when it comes to productivity? The answer is just uninstall Instagram, okay? No, just, just kidding, guys, okay? Just, just kidding. But the answer is no. That's the one thing that's going to change you forever. The answer is no. Just the word no. Say no 99% of the time. Just say no. Tell me, what the heck are you talking about? You know, when I was growing up, guys, my mom and dad taught me one thing. They were from a third world country, and I always heard about this. Tommy, it was a lot harder back in our days, okay? But they always told me, Tommy, whenever you get an opportunity, you want to go ahead and you take it. You never say no. Always take every opportunity you actually get. So I took a lot of jobs. I took a lot of things out there. But in reality, every single time I said yes, I would say no to something that was more important to me and more important to my goals. And that's when I realized that, hey, millionaires, billionaires, successful people overall, they're always saying no, 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 no. And no means yes. And yes means no. What the heck? Yeah, because basically, whenever I say yes to you, I'm saying no to something else that might be more important than that thing right there, okay? Tommy, can you do this for me? Yes, but now, I can't spend time with my wife or my family or my sister or my brothers or working on my own tasks. When I say no, I'm saying yes to all those things that are very important to me. So that's the main thing you wanna do. And how do you do this? The answer is, I'll tell you a story that I heard about Warren Buffett. And by the way, I don't know if this is real, 
but it is still a very good story. Now, Warren Buffett, as you guys know, owns a company that's in charge of a bunch of jets to charge people out, okay? And one day, he comes into the jet, okay? And the pilot says, Warren, I've been with you for around 10 to 15 years now. Can you give me any advice when it comes to achieving my goals in my career as a pilot? And Warren says, yes, I, I can help here. And he says, well, I want you to write down your 25 biggest career goals, okay? And the guy says, okay, Warren, I'll do that. Now, a few days pass by, all right? And when Warren comes back on the plane, he has to go to a meeting, whatever it is, the pilot says, hey, Warren, I have everything right here the 25 biggest goals in my career. And then he says, well, I want you to circle the five most important goals you actually have, okay? And he says, all right, I'll do that right now. He circles them. Well, this one is one, this one is one, this one is one, also this, also this, and that overall is five. And then he asks Warren, well, what do I do now? And Warren says, well, I want you to break it up in those two lists, okay? One list is the top five, and one list is the top 20. And he says, well, okay, I get this now. I focus on the top five, and then I do the top 20 whenever I have time for it. And Warren says, no, that's not how it works. I want you just to focus on the top five and don't do anything else whatsoever. This top 20 is going to become your ignore and avoid list at all costs, because basically, it is going to distract you. And small things, small tasks, small goals can be very distracting to the point where you're not going to achieve the big goals that are going to make a big difference. And again, this all boils down to one thing, no. You say no to things that are not going to forward you in your career or in your life, and you say yes to things that are actually going to help you. And you have to have priorities, because basically, just like Darren Hardy says, also a guy I follow, the idea is that, you know what? If you have more than three to five goals, in reality, you have none. Because you can't split your mind in 25 different directions. The answer is it just doesn't work that way. You need to focus down on, hey, what are my top five goals, okay? And everything else you ignore. What opportunities help me with that and which ones don't? That tells you what you say yes to and what you say no to. That is the number one thing when it comes to productivity. However, I am going to give you a lot more in this video. Okay, so stick around till the end of this video. Now, here's the next thing I wanna tell you guys about here. And by the way, this is gonna help you out a ton, just like it also helped me, okay? And by the way, if you have any ideas, well, comment down below. That way, you can also help me, all right? But the answer is, there's also something called vital tasks. The most vital tasks in your entire career or business, the most important things. And by the way, I learned this from two books, and that's called The 80-20 Rule and also The Entrepreneur Roller Coaster by Darren Hardy. And by the way, if you guys want two of those books right there for free, well, get them with my link down below to Audible. And this way, when you sign up, even if you cancel, you still get to keep those two books right there for free. Nothing to lose. And by the way, highly recommend you get into habit of reading also. And by the way, if you do keep Audible, well, get this book also. It's called The 4-Hour Workweek by Tim Ferriss. It's going to also help you out a ton. But when it comes to vital tasks, guys, it's the most critical task in your entire business or career. The most important ones that you need to focus on and everything else can be outsourced to somebody else. So for example here, this is right here what's going to decide basically if you're going to do a lot of activity or actually be productive. Let's say for example, guys, you're walking down the block, okay? You're walking, doo -doo 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 -doo, and all of a sudden you trip on this banana and you fall in a pencil and now that pencil is stuck in your head. I'm sorry for painting that picture here. But when you get to the hospital, what's the first thing the doctor is going to do? What is it? Is it take the pencil out? Is it, for example, make sure you're alive? The answer is the first thing they're gonna do is measure your vitals. Because basically, the vitals, your vitals, okay, the way your heart is pumping, right, the blood, that is the most critical thing that's going to be when it comes to making sure you recover and making sure they know exactly what to do next. Making sure you're stable and your vitals are right there where they have to. Once they have that, they can then go ahead and focus on everything else. For example, hey, here's a pencil there. 
let's try and go ahead and take that out okay but here's what i mean here guys in real terms okay it means for example if you have a business like i do and my goal is to make for example a hundred thousand dollars every single year you know for me it might be close to a million dollars every year right the idea is how do i get there and how do i know i'm doing the vital things to actually get me there how do i know that well i want you to do this and by the way i learned this and it's super fun to actually do this okay but the answer is i want you to write down exactly how much money you want to make every single year okay in this case let's say for example you want to make one hundred thousand dollars a year now if you're going to work a 40-hour work week also have vacation sick days the answer is you're going to be working around two thousand hours every single year two thousand hours so divide the amount of money you want by the hours you're going to work so divided by two thousand hours which is a lot of time not twenty thousand i'm sorry about that okay that, that's that's insane but again a hundred thousand divided by two thousand guys is around fifty dollars an hour that you need to make to actually get your goal of a hundred thousand dollars. And by the way, if you want a million, then obviously it's going to be ten times that, so it's going to be around five hundred dollars an hour. Now, what does this mean? It means that every single task you focus on that does not bring you fifty dollars an hour, or for example, five hundred dollars an hour, you are wasting your time. For example, you guys know I make YouTube content, right? So my goals are, I have to go ahead, answer emails, right? Talk to companies. On top of that, I have to upload content, edit it, make thumbnails, make posts on Instagram, all this stuff. But also the most important thing is basically, I have to sit here, learn something, and share it with you guys. That is the most vital task in my entire business. Everything else, I can go ahead and export it or delegate it to someone else. So for this right here, I have to be making $500 an hour if I want to make, for example, a million dollars a year. But if I'm spending, for example, an hour answering emails, that means, for example, it's costing me $500 an hour just to go ahead and answer emails. When I could just go ahead and say, hey, let me hire an assistant to go ahead and do that. Or for example, let me hire an editor to go ahead and edit my videos. This way, I'm not spending $500 every hour. This way, I can spend eight hours of my day doing the one thing that matters. That's basically plan content, make content, learn something. That's it. Everything else can be delegated. And that's why, that's the next thing I want to tell you guys about. And that's all about, tell me, how do you delegate? And the answer, guys, if I'm being honest here, it's tough for me to even go ahead and delegate anything. Everything in my channel, I do. I answer all the comments. I edit all the videos. I do all the thumbnails. I check all the Instagram stuff. I check all the emails, right? That's all me. And again, it is costing me a ton of money. However, after reading a book and understanding exactly what I was doing, it changed my whole perspective. It also told me, Tommy, the reason you're not delegating is because basically that might also be an ego thing where you think basically you are the only person that can actually do this correctly. But the answer is that's not true. There are a lot of people out there that can edit content better than I do. People out there that can basically answer emails and basically do all that work better than I do. This way I can focus on exactly what I need to do to actually keep growing the business. Okay. That's the whole idea. So the answer is when it comes to hiring people, you want to hire the best. And you also want to make sure they're not just there for money because people that are the best using aren't just there for money. They care about, hey, is this exciting? Is this making me feel good about it? Is this challenging? Okay. And once they have all those things, you also want to go ahead and reward them. Okay. If I have an editor and I pay him, for example, $3,000 or $4,000 every single month, does that mean... I'm paying him way too much money. The answer is no. It means that editor is free. I don't pay him at all because basically by him doing all this work, right, that I'm no longer doing and me doing other work, the answer is this editor is making me so much more money to the point where his job becomes free. And that's why you want to hire the best. You want to create a dream team. You don't want to be like, hey, I want this person because they look pretty or I want this person because that's my friend. The answer is no. You want to create a dream team. The team is going to help you become successful. And that comes through delegation. You can't reach that limit when you're the one doing everything. And by the way, that's why my uncle 
is so good because he's not the one doing everything. He focuses on basically what are the most important things here. And that's basically sales. I sit down and talk to people that want to buy my product. That's all he does. Everything else, all the people basically do this. And this is why he has so much free time. And this is why he makes so much more money than everyone else. Because basically he can focus on, hey, here are the most important things. And this is what I'm going to focus on, okay? Now, lastly, guys, before you guys leave this video, I do want to tell you guys one thing. As a leader or as a boss, you are going to have to make very tough decisions. Meaning, sometimes they're going to be unpopular. Meaning that if you do make, for example, a wrong hire or you make a mistake, A, you have to take responsibility, and B, you might have to go ahead and let somebody go, although that's going to be hard, okay? Again, you know, I'll tell you this story right here. It's personal, but why not? I want you guys to learn about this, okay? And the answer is, you know what? When I was back in college, I had two main jobs at the time. And it was basically, one was at Gap, and one was also as a work study. Now, at Gap, it was seasonal, which meant you were from September to December, and if they liked you, they kept you. If they didn't, they let you go. Now, I worked at Gap, <laughs> and they let me go in December. Why? Because basically, I hated that job so much, and they could tell. So they let me go, that was the right decision, and they kept someone else that actually enjoyed it. And that was a guy, my friend, and he did a great job over there. But as a work study, I did a great job. It gave me free time, it paid me good money, it was okay, and I did great. I never got fired from that. But guess what, okay? I remember being in the office, and around 10 to 15 people got fired that had a real job in the college, okay? Not like a work study position, no. Real jobs, they got fired. And to me, that was so sad. And to the boss, that was heartbreaking that they had to do that, let those people go. But guess what, guys? We did not feel a difference when it came to work, meaning that those jobs right there were obsolete. They no longer actually did anything. And that's why they had to go ahead and let those people go for the overall health of the business. And that's why you want to build a dream team and not a dream family, okay? Families take things personal. A team understands that basically we have to have the best people on board at all times. That's the idea. And by the way, you have to also inspire people. And by the way, guys, you guys remember when I told you basically that I found a better way to journal? Well, that way is called the cash out method that I learned from Darren Hardy. And the idea is that once you write down what your goals are every single day, your top three goals, top things you actually have to do, the habits you actually need, all this stuff, the answer is once you write things down every single day, the answer is you come back at the end of the day and say, hey, did I achieve this? Did I not achieve this? You take accountability. It's like when you work at a restaurant or at a at a supermarket, and at the end of the day, if that cashier or that cash register is actually short, in reality, you have to pay the difference. If it has something extra, you keep it as a tip, right? But that's it. You have to cash out every single day. I did this. I didn't do this. I can do this better. I can do better at this, okay? And by the way, guys, that's it for this video. I hope it helped you in some way. And on top of that, last thing, if you guys want to be more productive when it comes to your phones, I found a channel and also a video that's going to help me out a ton. So watch that video. I'll put it down below. We're not collabing. This person doesn't even know I exist, but the answer is that help video helped me out a ton. And that's what I want to share with you guys also. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. If you guys have a comment, comment down below. This one can also improve my life. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. And as always, like this video if you liked it. On top of that, also, if you're new here, subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified. And if you want to text me or talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, well, join my Patreon. Link down below and let's schedule a call to actually talk. Or follow me on Instagram at Tommy Bryson. On top of that, if you guys want to watch another video, I'm basically investing, how to get started, all that stuff. The answer is here's that video right here. And click my page right now. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. And as always... Peace.